seem to figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, you know, we successfully got back from Helheim, and the Holdra brothers reconciled. I kind of wasn't expecting that to happen until, like, a post credit scene, so I can only assume something terrible is going to happen. But it hasn't happened yet, so we're going to focus on the positive. Let's see. Are you a giant door? No. Um, I guess it's probably not on the bridge, huh? Why has that section not got a fence on it? Doesn't even look like it's broken. Was this like a dock station when we first got here? No, because there'd be a big white flag. Or I guess not all of them have that. I was thinking of the ones in the caves and such. Huh, it is weird to just look up and see it there. Big doors. Where am I going to find a big door? I mean, if I were going to hide something even more important than what I put in the vault and I was here, I would put it inside the statue. Mind you, that seems to have decayed really, really, really badly, so... It's probably not made of the right materials for that. You know, they would have cared more. Uh... Oh! The witch's compass knows the way to go. I guess I should have expected that. This is a big door. Can I open this? No. <laughs> All this plant material from the lake. I bet this tunnel... tunnel. This temple stinks. Alright, where do you lead me? And I'm not planning to uh, fly off to Jotunheim just yet. I just I just want to know where it is, you know. <laughs> Take that, Lake. Interesting. I wondered if it was going to be down in the vault. Is that a lift bar? No, it's just the way the sun is shining on it. Where is the sun, anyway? Now that we're back from Helheim, I should like to see it. Oh. It's the long stretch of nothing. Okay. Ah! Oh, that was weird. Well, okay. I walk right after that they say something? No. Well, I'm not gonna do that just yet. It is good to know that it's there. What? Why does it keep doing that? I'll keep going if I do that again. Kind of looks like a face, doesn't it? With a mouth, and the eye, and the other eye, and the nose. We did receive a side quest from the, uh... The Holdra brothers, who want us to go find Motsogneer's other castle. Because in addition to not giving a shit about his people, and, uh, being obsessed with hunting to the detriment of his, uh... Settlement... I guess not Selgnir needed a summer home, too. Which tower is that? There. Uh, there. Muspelheim. Why would they build Kratos... Uh, Kratos. Uh, Thor next to the Muspelheim tower.
Guy almost certainly hated the uh, the fire giants just as much as he hated the uh, the ice giants. Well, let's see. Where is that quest? It's up there. Oh no, it isn't. That's embarrassing. <clears throat> no, not just fights. Uh... Ah, that must be it. Yes. I don't know how we're going to go there. Oh, you're right. Now that we've got the key, we can open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. It's weird how sometimes they treat it like they've been on this journey for a few hours, Come here. and sometimes. You never told us what Magni and Modi had to do with Trungnir. Oh, yes. Well, what happened after Hrungnir oh. fell slain upon Thor was that nobody in the court could get the stone body off of him. Thor was no use at this point. His brain rattled, his breath shallow, but none of Odin's men were nearly strong enough to help. Then enter little Magni and Modi, no taller than shrubs. And while nobody but myself was looking, they flipped over Hrungnir's corpse and freed their father. Magni, being Blondar, got all the credit, and Modi remained bitter about it from that day to the end, which I don't need to tell you about. I really? See something down there. I mean, there was some bickering, like, but it just seemed like normal sibling stuff. If you're sibling, you know, if you're both complete assholes. You know, when Magni tell, uh, brings up what father wanted, and Modi repeats it in a sing-song voice. Yeah, dead dragon! You know, when that sequence started, I legit thought that might be the third dragon I had to free, and that I'd break the armor off and get the achievement. That dragon, it's Baldur's, isn't it? Yes. And you brought it down to save me? It was very heroic. Well, we might as well go thank the guy. You know, for not killing us all and for, uh. Oh, I know, let's apologize while we're here, too. Achieve and unlock beneath the surface. What the hell? Explore all the Lake of Nine has to offer. But I've been here before. There's a chest I opened. God damn it, Jormungandr. Make every place sound haunted. I guess it's not his fault he sounds intimidating when all he does is breathe. I do hope I'm going in the right direction. I'm very embarrassed if I get up here and there's nothing there. No, no, it's the background that's moving because Jormungandr is there. No, he dead. Oh. Well, that looks like a treasure chest. Treasure there. chest. Hmm. Oh, the uh, the curly Q there on the eye covering reminds me actually. It was Ah, yes, shout out to Yornik, who informs me that that symbol I recognized but could not remember the name of, the one that kind of looks like a, uh, a very swirly fidget spinner, is called a Triskelion, or Triskeles. And it has an absolute shitload of meanings, since, as Yornik puts it, three of everything is oh so magical. <laughs> Sorry about getting you killed, my dude. I 
wasn't the intention. I just wanted to stop Balder. Is this a treasure map? Like, legit? No, that's not it. And that's way over... What? No. Helheim Tower. No. No. God damn it. Svartalfheim! That's the one. Yes, good. That's what I was trying to find out there. Oh, that's weird. I haven't actually been to the Muspelheim Tower. Even though we've been to Muspelheim. So what's this? Man, now I feel bad. That wasn't even me. That was a cutscene, man. Be ready. Oh, so you've chosen death. No. What the fuck? Why are they orange? You son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! God damn it! Our enemies are strong. Strength is not enough. They looked more red to me last time I fought them, but I guess we are in really bright light out here. Uh, the other wolver gets a lot faster after it starts faster after it starts howling. This one seems to get a lot stronger. We should be really, really careful after this one starts howling. Oh. Oh, I didn't get to see the unlock animation. I hate that. Well, let's see. Uh huh. Is that from the harpoon? Yes, it is. Wait, what? Oh, yeah! Hits everybody around them, too! I did that? Okay, that's kind of badass! All right, let's go. Let's make this quick. I have rabies. <laughs> that wasn't the end of that line. He's supposed to say, I have rabies. I just thought you should get yourself checked out. Or no, I just thought you should know you should probably get yourself checked out. But him just saying, I have rabies, like it's a conversational uh, thing. Just, hmm. I'm glad Brock and Sinji were able to work out the differences. Me too. Now they are twice as irritating. Ah, I think it's nice to see them trust each other again. Arg. Sharp turn. Send this guy to Davy Jones's locker. Amir, why did you work for Odin if he's so horrible? It's my career. And if you mean to make your career as a counselor to kings, you can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. My first master was a cruel piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. By night, 
Our mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Never spikes to the last. We get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. Oh. Then one day he was not amused. And I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and roads traveled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue you see before you today. Hmm. Odd. Oh, it was the map, wasn't it? That's a new location. Kunin's Guard, that's what they call it the place. Yes, good. Oh, I haven't actually looked at all of them. Or have I? I'm on the wrong fucking screen. I'll be okay. Oh no, now there's this. Oh, he's just fucking stabbing with them. Just once? Huh. Oh, that one. Yeah, sorry, I was thinking of the other one. And sure, chaotic rampage. A flurry of close range attacks. What about over here? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I never get to see these unlock again. Now I'm sad. Or hang on, I thought. Oh, that's right, I did these already. I thought. That's why I thought he was at the top level when it turned green. Ah, yeah, let's do that. Reaching Whirlwind. And okay, fine, the one I never use. Even that. Um. Yeah, that's alright, but I definitely needed to do more damage. So, let's pour more damage into it. Throws out the Blades of Chaos while spinning, greatly increases the range of the attack. Plus one damage, plus one stun. Right, that's water, it can't go out there. Delightful. Not at that time. Just checking something, sorry. Ah, of course! I was just thinking to myself, what's stopping me from going here earlier? And then I remembered they gave me that stone. Oh, hey, perfect. Not this one, the other one. Oh, dwarves. I like the. I was just thinking of just now of the reveal in Elder Scrolls that the people who gave the the, the Dweamer the nickname Dwarves were in fact uh, mountain giants. So contrary to popular belief, they were actually about the same size as a human in that setting. I mean. really didn't want us to come out here. Oh, right. Nice. That's funny, the thing didn't need kicking. Let's just go in there, and just this once. It's not Brock or Sindri, it's just some guy named Carl. Atreus, to me! Okay, I'm coming. Wait, did you do that? Ugh. 
This is not, in fact, a cave entrance, as I thought. I was like, well, why is there a climbing thing over there if... Oh. Oh, shit. There's the timer. Tail! Or, actually, I guess it's probably just part of his... You can't really tell, because his head isn't next to it. <laughs> How far away it is from the front of his body. Have we actually seen the back end of uh, Jormungandr? Or is that like in Egypt? Boy, over here. Sir, it says, glory to Motsigir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. Not what it says at all. Mutsognir's throne. After many winters, the stronghold of Conan's guard is complete. Mutsognir has in invited all citizens to attend the grand ceremony in the throne room. There we await the calming words of our king, who promises everlasting safety and prosperity. This new land is even more fertile than Vaithergard, and with Regen as our stalwart sentry, we fear not from the Reavers, Dark Elves, nor any malevolent force. The reign of King Mutsognir is truly blessed by Tyr himself. All hail the Dwarf King, protector of man. Huh, sounds like they actually liked this Dwarf King. The people in Vaithergard sure didn't. I wonder what changed. That's an excellent question. Although, you know, finding a note like this does remind me, let's finish this episode on, uh... Something I noted about this book we're looking at. See, presumably, that is Atreus' notebook that uh, Kratos is holding out there, which I had only previously seen from behind, because Atreus always walks out in front of me when he's uh, examining something closely and taking notes on it. And uh, I just thought it was funny to see it this way, because I realized that, well, it's a leather-bound book, which means rather than just being something they put together, it was probably a gift from Faye to Atreus. And just like everything else that was important to her, she seems to have marked it with a golden handprint. Hell, for all I know, that was a tracking spell that allowed her to make sure that Atreus wasn't getting into trouble. <laughs> so. so, yes, I just thought that would be fun to share with you guys. And having said that, I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit longer before we lay eyes on the fortress of Conansgard. Oh yeah, having heard, having hearing that name now, I do understand a mistake I made. Uh, Midgard it turns out doesn't actually mean uh, you know garden in the middle. It means enclosure in the middle. Thank you, Edric. Shout out for pointing that out. Um, having said that, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play God of War, when we find out if the people's belief in Motsugnir was truly well-founded. I'm betting not. <laughs> Later!